Hello friends, I'm Vikram from EasyOn Technologies. Welcome to my Spring Framework project work series. In my previous video, I discussed about how to configure Spring MVC framework. And in my current discussion, I'm going to talk about how to create domain classes for the project. Before moving there, I'm going to show you the project we have created in previous video look at this spring contact application we have created there and now uh, we have got here two directories src this src contains source code and this target location is containing uh, files after compilation so all the compiled programs are available here and the source programs are available in src and especially in this src this main is the area where your source code is available so inside the web application you will get the HTML resources, JSPs, web information directories and all. All web resources will be available here. And inside the Java folder you will get the packages we have created. Look at this in.easyon.c app and these are the different different packages we have created. So you can see the same directory structure well organized here. Right. So these are the different different packages you can see here like this okay so let's move on to the domain so here I'm going to create domain classes so before moving to the domain classes we must understand what is domain class so domain class is a class which is much more similar to your database table so when you have uh, a database table we create a class to map the uh, record from that table so look at this I'm going to create here two classes one is a user class just a moment come to the database here and check this this is my database we have created in previous video and this is one table this is another table so I'm going to create two classes for two different tables so for user table I will create one class and for contact table one more class I will create so I'm going to create here a class this is user class so I'm going to create this user class under this folder look at this package here C app dot domain fine and remove that comment and this is my domain class and what are the properties you have to declare in the domain class just go to that table and check the columns here so these are the set of columns and I'm going to copy the name copy the short name here and uh, just create all the properties just a moment so let me create these properties quickly so this is private integer user ID and this is private string name just a moment let me quickly create all these things and this is role role is your private this is integer I'm using here wrapper type instead of using primitives and this is private login status and this is integer right so these are the properties now you can generate here getter and setter for all these properties so you can take the help from this tool to generate the getter setter look at the source menu in the source menu you will get here option to generate source code insert code option is there in fact you can right click here and uh, you can do like this also alt plus insert so you can right click here and generate what you required getter and setters okay so I'm going to generate getter setter for all the properties okay just generate everything so look at this so we have got here getter and setter for the uh, user ID and name then phone number email address address login name 
password everything is generated here right so this is one class we have generated this is a domain class now generate one more class here which is your contact because we have two uh, tables and we, we are creating here two classes so this is your contact class and I'm going to copy here fields just a moment go to this contact table and copy all the fields here so these are the copy to clipboard and take the short name fine you have to add all these things and this is again private this is contact ID and this will be your integer and this is ready and this is again private integer and these are private string okay fine so what is the role of this this is your primary key column this is your foreign key so what is the role of user ID in contact it is representing a foreign key right so we have got all these now generate the source code right click on the editor and insert code and getter and setters for all the properties right so these are the all properties uh, and we have got the associated getter and setters in fact you can add here constructor if required using the same technique look at this insert code you can add constructor so I'm going to add one default constructor similarly I'm going to add a default constructor in the previous domain class also it's a good habit to add default constructors so this is default constructor right so we have got here two domain classes one is contact another is user so this is enough for this video session in next video session we'll talk about some uh, more topic in this project work series if you have any queries you can ask in comments and uh, you can subscribe my channel to get more updates thank you very much for watching and see you in next video